Hi everyone, this is Andrew Minoni from Print Americas. Today, I want to show you four ways that Print Suite can take your data-driven publishing to the next level, giving you more time to actually create. Print Suite is a modular, integrated publishing platform designed to scale from small work groups all the way to the largest of enterprise publishing environments. In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at just some of the killer features of our Print Comet plugin for Adobe InDesign to see how you can spend less time wrangling emails, spreadsheets, or generally being a copy-paste zombie, and more time creating the perfect marketing message. So let's dive right in. The first thing you'll notice is that Print Comet adds a number of new tools to the InDesign toolbar. Print Comet also adds a number of menu panels from the window menu uh, accessible under Comet and Comet Admin. Don't worry, I know it looks like a lot, but on any given day, you're only going to use between three or four. All right, before I can do anything, I need to log in to the publishing server. And I'm gonna do that from the plugins menu and connect to publishing server. Say okay. I've already prepared an InDesign document using our Print Planner web application and have assigned a few products to the document we're going to use for the remainder of this demo. For more information about the Print Planner, including workflow automation, contact our sales team to arrange a full demo. All right, now that I'm logged in, I'm going to open the Publications panel to view all of the publications my user has access to by clicking on the magnifying search icon in the panel. And it's going to show me all my publications. And I'm going to drill in to find the document we're going to work with today. Uh, I'm going to check it out of the system by clicking this blue download icon here. And that's going to check it out of the system and lock it for anybody else to use um, while we're doing our edits. So now that I have this document open, I can put the publications panel away. And you can see that it's a one page document. And now I'm going to go into my product pool uh, to show me all of the products that are available in the content system. And this could be a PIM, a DAM, what have you. And again, I'm going to click on the uh, magnifying glass here to perform that search. And in the default setting, it's just going to show me everything that's available to me. So you can just drill down to find products. Uh, and now before I can do anything with it, I need to give a product a, a, a template. Uh, it's look and feel on how it should look on the page and I can select from the list and drag it to the page but because we've already planned these products uh, for my document I'm just going to switch to document planning and it's going to show me everything that has been planned already including its pre-assigned template. So now I can select all of the products that I want to work with and instead of dragging it to the page one at a time, I can do an automatic page build that will lay out a section or a couple products for me. And I'm gonna do that by coming down to the bottom of this product pool panel and clicking on this icon that looks like a series of bricks. And that is our page building with product template dialog. And this page template is uh, where products can live in my document. It tells Comet where things can go. And I've got this preset here, and I'm just going to ignore the rest of this dialog and just say OK. And what's going to happen is Comet's going to go out to the content system and bring down all of the information about the products that we, we requested, including all of the images. It's going to build all the tables dynamically for us. Also, we'll add as many pages to accommodate the products as needed. All right, now that we've got these products on the page, you can see the tables got built, we brought in the images. All right, I'm gonna put the product pool aside and take a look at the products of document. The products of document panel is really great and it works hand in hand with the uh, product pool. So while the product pool can show you everything that's available to put into your document, the products of document shows you just what's in the document. Uh, and you can select on any item here and it will jump you to that location in your document, as well as it 
selecting the corresponding record in the product pool. And you can do a number of different things here. So what's a common case in layout is you're going through and all of a sudden a uh, product manager might stop by your desk and say, oh, bad news, uh, this particular product is low on inventory or it's been discontinued and you need to remove it from the layout. Ordinarily, that would be a, a, a big pain because you would be left with this gaping hole in your layout and you would have to do what I like to call the uh, InDesign shuffle uh, and Tetris everything back to tighten up that white space. We have a solution for that in the way of uh, page reorganization. So I'm going to hold down the shift key uh, and click my reorganize button here in the bottom footer of the products of document panel and let this go and you'll see what's going to happen is Comet's going to shuffle all of the products around to tighten up that white space. You can see the space is now tightened up and our layout has been adjusted automatically. Now, another scenario that you might encounter uh, fairly regularly is the case where a uh, product manager might decide or, or uh, somebody who's proofing might decide that, you know what, these products would look better in a different spot in your layout. And again, we can easily do that with the products of document. So I'm going to select these two items here, these two products, and you can see them selected in the InDesign file here. And now I'm going to instead, I'm just going to bring these up, drag and drop them to the top of my document. And instead of displaying the page number on the left hand side, uh, it's now got these double arrows indicating that there's a new sort order. So the next time we reorganize the document, these will be moved to the new position that we indicated. Uh, and again, I'm just going to zoom out so we can watch that happen. Oh, it's a little too, too far out. Uh, so again, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, hold down my shift key and click reorganize the document. Now Comet's moving and doing all of that InDesign shuffle for us so we don't have to do that ourselves. Great, and now we've got all of our products in the new position that we want them in. Uh, there's one other area that's really nice about the products of document. So now I said this will show you what's in your document as opposed to the product pool which will show you what's available for that has been planned for your document. Uh, and so that helps us out in another way uh, and that's when something gets added uh, at some point in layout. So perhaps um, you know, to simulate that, we, we selected all of these products here, and now they're all selected in the product pool correspondingly, except for the item that we deleted. And so this could be the case where somebody planned this product after you started to work on it. Um, and now I can drag and drop this to, to my page, um, but in addition, I can actually just kind of uh, drag this right to the products of document and I'm going to drop it here and now instead of a double arrow it's got a plus sign so the next time I reorganize my document which I'll do right now it's going to add it back into layout. Now here's my new product that I just added back to my document. The next killer feature for Print Comet with Print Suite is the to do's functionality that enables change management. I can use the to do's functionality to check what's in the data source against what's in my document to see what's different. So I'm going to select uh, selected frames here, and now I'm going to uh, click on the magnifying glass to run that search to find out what's different. And it's flagged this one item here uh, I can see in my list. And down in the bottom of this panel here, uh, it will tell me what's in the document. It's saying, oh, it's 8500 series, but in the data source, we see that it's 8000 series. So I can now go ahead and bring that change in by clicking the eyeball here. And when I do that, we're going to see the 8500 series change back to its original value here, 8000 series. When I'm satisfied with 
the progress of my document and I want to get it back into the system. It's really straightforward. So I'm just going to choose uh, File, Save, and then come to the Publications panel again. And now you see, instead of offering a blue download icon to check it out, I have a red upload icon to check it back into the system. Now that it's saved, I'm just going to check it back in. The final feature I want to show you guys today is how we can enable multilingual publications. Uh, so for this scenario, I've already taken the document that we just checked back into the system and I've duplicated it in the print planner and I've set a new context for the language. Instead of saying that it's for the US, I'm going to say that it's for Germany. And so back to my publications panel, I'm going to find the German version of my catalog here and drill down and I find I have my 2020 catalog. I'm going to check this out of the system. And so right now in its initial state, you're going to see that it's still English because I'm basing this new German version off the English publication. In this scenario, the language we want to use is already in the PIM or the data source. And what we need to do is just bring that to the page and replace the existing English. We've got a couple things to make that easier. What we're going to do is we're going to update the placeholders and I've told Comet to uh, act on everything on my current layer. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key. Uh, we do this so you don't accidentally update or write back placeholders. Uh, so I'm going to hold down my up Alt key and update the placeholders. And what you'll see happen is Comet's going to go through and because we set that context language to be German instead of English, it's going to go through and pull the German equivalent for everything that's on the page and we'll just wait for this to cycle through. If we take a closer look now that it's finished, we can see that instead of English, we've switched to German and we've produced a German equivalent of our catalog in a fraction of the time that it would take to relay out this document. The print suite drastically reduces the mundane parts of your job, giving you the time and flexibility to do what you do best. Create your ideal message for reaching your ideal audience. We'd love to show you more. Contact us today for a full demo. Thank you for watching. Thank you.